Hello and welcome back. We're going to be opening Innistrad packs. I have 53. Let's get started. Um, I'm not really going to go over the uncommons and commons since these don't open like real packs. We're just going to do the rares, mythics. Crystal Surveillance is actually a pretty good card. Um, it's a little expensive, but draw a card for every curse that's on a player. If you build the curse deck right, that could be quite a few. She's really good. So, tap creatures have death touch, untap creatures have hex proof, and you can tap a creature or untap another target creature or land. So you can have, a, essentially you have a creature go from being targetable to hexproof. All right, that's actually really good. Um, that's actually really good. So, <coughs> realistically, if you're playing this for four, you get minus two, minus two the board. Um, you can do some real damage with this. Champion of the Parish is really good. Um, so this is Champion of the Parish, um, but reverse. So now it's zombies as opposed to humans and black instead of white. Exact same card otherwise. That's pretty good. Allows you to just change whether it's night or day. Put a charge counter on. Remove any number, deal that much damage. That's pretty good. We'll see some decks built around it. Um, there's a lot of cre uh, token decks. This is a pretty good card. Otherwise, it's okay. Not great, not bad, just okay. You know, I kind of wish those weren't still in the mix for the first week of packs. Target creature, military card, play on life, spend. Okay. This card's pretty good. I get four of those I might build a deck around it maybe ooh Teferi uh, artifact that's really good yeah Teferi's Real good. Uh, spirits are usually pretty good, so having another spirit lord 
is good. So as long as you have any token, clue token, treasure token, creature token, this is a 4-3 three for 3 with Vigilance. So that's pretty good. Here I get this card in foil for my wife. Oh boy, another fork. Oh, this is a good card. This is a good card. Next time you can get it, power and toughness equal to it's convert a mana cost. That's a good card. Ooh, Ren. That's a it's another real good card. I'm gonna have a lot of fun when I'm playing against uh, Katie in our next Brawl series. Not a bad card. Potentially a white white destroy all creatures. Since I'm not going through the commons and uncommons, I am just gonna open ten to get all the rares. Alright, let's see, I got Reckless Storm Seeker. Bring a combat to our creature control gets in haste and effect. That's a good card. This is a good card. Just for the um, free combat plus the fact that it gives haste is really good. Uh, and the night bond just gets better. Uh, unnatural growth. At the beginning of each combat, double the power on top of this creature of each creature control until end of turn. Eh, it's not terrible. It's not great. Uh, which control two or more? two or more. These aren't bad. Um, they'll see a lot of play, I think. Fire damage each creature and each planeswalker. That's really good. And then if there's an empty board, you get to fill it. Which is also pretty good. Alright. Let's top two cards with target opponent's library. Exile land face down, put the other on the bottom of the library. You never get to play in play. Alright, that's a good card. That's a good card. Sun Gold Sentinel enters the battlefield or attacks exile a target card. Gains hex proofs of a color if you control three or more powers. Alright, and this is Sigarda. Oh, Sigarda is so good. Flying Trample. Humans can get plus one, plus one, and then if you have three or more different powers, you can reveal a human and put it into your hand. It's a good card. Uh, that's okay. Um, this is a control magic, is what it's based off of. And then the creature gets bigger, but at the cost of you have to sacrifice a creature. It's not bad. Go back to just opening 10. Uh, let's see. 
start to decide. Uh, if it's not night or day, it becomes day. Instant and sorceries cost X less to cast, where X is. And whenever day becomes night or night becomes day, put a counter on him. Oh, that's really good. Um, give the extra player to draw a card, then discard a card. This is a good. This is a good card. Either side. Uh, do, 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 do. Ghoul Caller's Harvest. Create. That's a good card. I wish they didn't have Decay, but it's still a good card. Oh, she's real good, too. Whenever a non-token creature you control dies, return that card to its owner's hand at the beginning of the next end step. If a creature opponent control dies, exile it. That's a good card. As this permanent transforms into a creature, we just attach it to a player. And then you have enchanted players upkeep that lose one life and you gain one life. Okay. So, like, if they can't kill it, that's a good card. It's a guardian savior. Eh. I haven't really seen a lot of good still in standard one two drops oh this is the kicker or the multi-kicker yeah I don't know why they didn't just use multi-kicker for this for this whole cycle it's what it is Oh, I suppose it's not because it actually enters the battlefield and then you pay. So if it does, if it gets countered, you're not sinking all that mana into it beforehand like you would for multi kicker. Okay. Apparently, we got some good stuff. Eldorian Scion. Oh, that's actually really good. Glad I got him, and I got an Arlen, because for I I know for one of the the decks I'm going to be building red green, either for my red deck or my green deck for our next brawl with Katie. And Katie, if you're watching this, werewolves are coming. Wake to slaughter. Ooh, that's really good. That's a really good card. It's okay. Slugger. The overslide. Ooh, that's. I wish. Oh, what's his name? The green black frog. Legendary frog from Innistrad. Whenever a land goes to your graveyard, draw a card. That's good. Alright. Well, that should be all of my packs. I have no more packs. So we'll call that an end. Uh, in the next video, I will be making my Brawl decks to face KD with. Uh, we are using the Uncommons from the Forgotten Realms. Uh, and we have to assign a color to our commanders. And then build a deck for that. And then 
my white will play her white, my blue will play her blue, my black will play her black, my red will play her red, my green will play her green. Uh, so we're not necessarily going to have the same commanders. There's up to four different people who could be assigned to any one color. So that should be a lot of fun. And I will see you guys in the next video. Have a good night.